all the Star what? Wars neckbeards are like, ah, you can't help a little stormtrooper, you can't do that. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, Let's get into some dirt. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about some Battlefront. I so like I said, I've got I've got questions. I'm sure a lot of people who actually haven't gone and made the purchase yet probably have some questions as well. Okay. Um, and the reason I think there's so many questions is um, there, there's a lot of everybody has their go-to sources for reviews, right? You're like, I want to see what their score is. They give it a score, and that kind of I know how that syncs up with me. So how does that translate to me buying this game or not? But the reviews on this game were all over. So on day one, yep. I was looking at it, and it was ranging um, basically from 6 to 9.3 was the highest I saw uh -huh. out of 10. Who gave it a 9.3? I'm just curious if you remember. No, actually, I saw um, there was a page. It just had like uh, there was oh, like it was 10 like of a Metacritic it was, or something? Yeah, it was like, like everybody. It was everybody like, um, compromised into one big group. And I was like, okay, okay. cool. Boy, there's so many things I want to say about it. So let, right. me give, let, well, me just, let me start with visual-wise, mm -hmm. it is just fantastic right okay. so like the visuals i am blown away by uh some of the texture mapping and, and the skybox and just the draw distance and everything about the game is just you you, you you can't fuck with it okay uh now when you get into the meat and potatoes of the game the gameplay that's where it kind of starts to fall not because the gameplay is bad per se but uh there's just no meat on the bones really um so it's very multiplayer, Harvey. There's right. no s campaign to speak of, which is fine because no, it's an online game. It's an online game. If your internet's down. Your campaign yeah. are the movies. If you want the story, you watch the Star Wars movies mm -hmm. because they're just you're basically reliving the battles that happened in Star Wars. So right. I can let that slide. That doesn't bother me much. Okay. The, the single player modes they have are so far to me very haphazardly thrown together. Okay. Um, so there's the classic Battlefront mode where I was excited about because, you know, you fight against bots. I've been talking about bots. Right. You can fight head-to-head -head with a person, and they control, like, the team of bots. Mm -hmm. But then they made it, like, mega arcade where, like, when you get the kill, they drop, like, this orb that's supposed to be points, and then you got to pick up the points, and yeah. a first person to 100 points wins. Uh... And totally just took me out of the immersion, right? So if I pick up 100 coins, I get a free life kind of a feel it's not right super super mario brothers -y. yeah um yeah that's a good way of looking at it but then you get to the meat and potatoes of it which is the online components mm -hmm. um net code and online work perfectly i've never right. had a problem getting the match like everything's super smooth there uh any difference between the beta and the live version for uh, those yeah, of you who played the beta because i played the beta and i i had a, a super smooth experience I, but i did hear a couple people had weird glitches and such yeah i had some problems getting into like drop zone on the beta barely yeah. worked for me uh, okay. But no, it's so yes, it's better than it was in the beta. So okay. they probably made fixes or just went with their final coding. But uh, man, you know, I played through all of the modes, mm -hmm. and like once it's all said and done, there's like two or three modes that are standout modes, like the Walker Assault, yeah. and then your TDM, your Team Deathmatch. Mm -hmm. Those are fun. Those are super fun. But gosh, guys, I gotta say, it's not sixty dollars fun. Yeah. Um, and I I hate to say it because. Anyone who's been watching the show or knows me, I've been looking forward to this game for 10 years. And it's still a great game, but it's missing so much to make it worth it. And then, of course, the problem is, is the DLC will probably make it worth what it's supposed to be. But then you're tacking on the extra $50. Now it's a $100 game. Now it's a $100, it's a $100 game, game. Yeah. that's only worth $60. Um, if they would have released Battlefront as like a digital-only title mm -hmm. and it was 30 bucks, fuck yeah. Totally dope. Yeah. Um, but as of now, nah. I yeah. give it 6.57 out of 10, totally. Yeah, which, I mean, it's tough to say if that number sounds harsh. Like, I think these days you hear 6.5 and it's just like an automatic no-buy. Hmm. Um, 6.5s don't but the mean games, a bad game. Yeah, the game's enjoyable from what I played of it. It was just, I felt, even when I was playing the beta, I started to get bored and I started to wonder, I was like, does this game actually have the lasting power that makes it worth the investment of 60 bucks? We have but, a question in the chat yeah. from Israfel says, question, how much customizable equipment in, is in the game? Guns, mm -hmm. costumes, etc." And then there was a complaint from Tim Staley that says his complaint was the map variety. Yeah. So to address both of those things, um, the map variety is terrible. Yeah. But in a sense, there's 13 maps-ish. Right. It's a weird take but, on how they did it when totally I saw how they approached but it. But yeah. it's all split up into the different modes. 
there's four planets. There's right. Hoth. There's, Solus. there's really four maps and different areas of the map that you play for the modes. Right. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. So there's planets, there's Hoth, Tatooine, Solist, and Endor. Yeah. Um, three of which are very prominent in the movies. Solist has never been seen before, so that's actually not a film canon mm -hmm. planet. So they really kind of drop the ball. They're like, you're going to get these three super recognizable planets div divvied up into variations right. for different now, as modes. Now, as an uber Star Wars fan, uh -huh. what, that's is, there, is there a planet you would have wanted to see in place uh, of the non-existent planet? I wouldn't say planets per se, but I was super surprised that there's nothing on the Death Star. Because okay. there's so much you can do that's on the say, Death that was, Star. That was the same thing for mine. Yeah. I was like, how is there not? Yeah, and yeah. I'm quite sure that it's going to be within the few well, months. Well, just give them another 40 bucks if you just want to Death, Death Star, guys. Yeah. Or maybe Boom. another 20 after that 40, because, and then another 30 after that 20, and um, keep going. Yeah. And, and real quick, just to answer that question from Israel, the customization sucks giant ween. Like, they just... They Can I be frank? I'm going to be frank. <laughs> no. It, uh, and then they pulled out... No. It's <laughs> that, garbage. Yeah. And it, well, you don't even know. You haven't even played it yet. Well, I mean, they cool. had everything opened up, and of course, in the beta, you can see what you start well, you can with see, and yeah. stuff, and you create your loadouts. It's ridiculous, because everybody wants gun customization. In the FPS world, I don't know why, but people want to do whatever they possibly can to their own gun to make it theirs. They want different loadouts. Um, you know, they've gone with the Pick 10 and the Pick 13 and all kinds of different pick systems um, for Call of Duty, where you can just create your own little world like you create your own little character and even though it doesn't look a whole lot different to you it feels different they didn't do that i mean these cut these right. these guys feel really bland like the little character you create i'm just like wow i feel so there's generic. no there's no like attachment to them at all yeah so you you actually have no customization to your person you're just a head right you're like last week tim's floating head mm -hmm. that's all you were no, you were like, just a head battlefront no. you're just a head you could pick so anyway there's 40 different heads you could pick from mm. uh ranging from dudes to old white dudes to black dudes to Asian dudes to same with chicks okay. um, so they have four different alien heads mm -hmm. that you can unlock but they're not till rank 40 and it's not like like I don't want to grind I don't want to grind that's for a grind alien head. just to a get shit. a head but here's the biggest I mean we've all grinded in the past for a little head huh. but I mean <laughs> <laughs> The biggest, the biggest, and this is an offense to me, like, mm -hmm. it's, and when I see it online, I just want to, like, reach through the TV and punch these kids in the head. Mm -hmm. They made an option, because you can't customize Stormtroopers much, so they gave you the option to have a helmetless Stormtrooper where you get to pick the stupid heads. Like, you can't know. And what? so... I'm and, offended. I didn't even know that existed. Yeah, dude, that's, like, a huge thing, and, like, all the Star what? Wars neckbeards are like, ah, you got a helmetless Stormtrooper, you can't do and right. I'm like, you know, now if they do, I agree. If they did have you cannot. like a helmetless stormtrooper, they should all look exactly the same. They should all, well, that's not entirely true because once the Galactic Empire took over, then they also started recruiting stormtroopers right. from yep. uh, Academy. They're like, so the you, Empire wants you. So you have a mix of Tamir Morrison, Django Fett, Boba Fett's right. mixed in with actual just Academy recruits. Can I get a hashtag nerd alert? Back off, you freaking dweebs! Oh, poor Mark Hamill. <gasps> that swarm of nerds is going to kill him. <laughs> nah, nah, you know, feeling? these are kind of dumb. We, so, there's our thoughts on Battlefront. 